Choosing a new laptop can be really daunting. It's a lot of money you're going to spend, and with all the options out there, it's just hard to know where to start. So what's the best laptop of 2018? Well, it depends on what you want to use it for and how much money you're willing to spend. We've reviewed pretty much all the best laptops out there that you can buy right now in pretty much every category, and this list should give you a pretty good place to start. So here they are, the best laptops of 2018. Our pick for the best 2-in-1 is the Surface Pro. In the past couple of years, 2-in-1 laptops have gone from an acquired taste to being completely mainstream. With a full version of Windows 10 and a super light form factor, the Surface Pro is just as capable for a workday at the office as it is for lying on the couch watching cat videos. Coming in at just 0.33 inches thick and just 1.73 pounds, it's also easily the most portable laptop on this list. Toss it in a bag and you'd never notice the extra weight. The form factor is even more impressive when you consider how much power it packs. It starts at $800 and the configurations top out at $2,700. It's quick, snappy, and versatile, everything you could want out of an ultra portable laptop. Plus, it's one of the best tablets around when you need it to be. Our pick for the best Chromebook is the Samsung Chromebook Pro. If you're looking for a budget laptop, Chromebooks as a category are a good choice to look to. They run a more pared down operating system called Chrome OS, but these systems rarely sell for north of 600 bucks. The Samsung Chromebook Pro is a great example of Chromebook's strengths. It has a 2560 by 1600 display, an Intel Core M processor, and plenty of memory. So those are solid specs at a decent price. It's also a two-in-one, meaning it comes with a stylus and can be rotated around in tablet mode. You won't find a Chromebook with a lightning-fast quad-core processor, a fast solid-state drive, or an optional discrete GPU, for example. But even if the best Chromebooks were equipped with all this tech, the operating system would hold you back from running any complicated software. The Samsung Chromebook Pro does start at just $550 though, easily making it the most affordable option on the list. For a laptop with a large display, our choice for the best 15-inch laptop is the Dell XPS 15. 13-inch laptops are great, and they're the most common you can get, but you may want something with a larger display and some power under the hood. You're not alone. The XPS 15 comes with a quad-core 7th gen Intel Core i7 processor, NVIDIA GTX 1050 for graphics, and a 4K display. It's easily the best all-around 15 laptop on the market today, and even makes for a decent stealth gaming laptop. Other than that, it looks just like the XPS 13 with its crazy thin bezels and fantastic build quality. The XPS 15 does start at a steep $1,000, though compared to something like a 15-inch MacBook Pro, it's actually quite a good deal. This thing is a beast. There are larger, cheaper, thinner gaming laptops out there, but this one is for gamers who value performance above all. The Predator 17X has been our favorite gaming laptop for a while now, and for good reason. When it comes to things that gamers actually want in a laptop, the Predator 17X has you covered across the board. The newest version features NVIDIA's GTX 1080 to run your graphics, and Intel's Core i7-7820HK for your processor. That's some of the highest end tech you can get in a laptop. The Predator 17X also comes with a fantastic 17-inch 4K display that supports NVIDIA's G-Sync technology to ensure that your gaming experience is as immersive as possible. It'll even perform well with VR systems, which is a nice bonus if you're interested in powering a Rift or Vive headset. On top of all that, the Predator 17X includes 32 gigs of RAM, and for storage, both a one terabyte hard drive and a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. It's not cheap with a starting price of 2,500 bucks, but what you get is a fantastic selection of components chosen specifically to create the ideal gaming experience on the go. Most people are looking at a Mac for one of two reasons. Either you're a fan of Mac OS, or you're attracted to Apple's brand and want to buy one based on the company's reputation. In that case, we recommend you purchase the MacBook Pro 13 without Touch Bar. Why not one of the more expensive models, which have a fancy OLED Touch Bar where the function keys used to be? In our opinion, the Touch Bar just doesn't add enough functionality. Certainly not enough to justify a $300 addition to an already expensive price tag. The latest MacBook Pro models all feature 7th gen Intel Core processors, as well as the excellent displays and touchpads that MacBooks are known for. But they're still a little more expensive than they need to be, and if you're on the fence about Mac OS, you might want to give Windows 10 a chance, especially with all the great laptops featured on this list. Aside from build quality and industrial design, Apple does justify its high prices with one important feature, customer service. Given the MacBook Pro's robust build and reputation for longevity, it's a nice safety net to have, especially when your Mac gets old and you end up losing your warranty paperwork. 
If you're on a budget, we suggest the ZenBook UX 330UA from ASUS, which starts at just $750. This ZenBook isn't as powerful as some more high-end Ultrabooks, and certainly doesn't look quite as impressive either. But if you just want a laptop that'll cover the essentials, this is easily your best option. The base model has an 8th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB solid state drive. That's twice the memory and storage of the $800 2017 version of the Dell XPS 13, and better battery life than what you'll find in most other laptops. Compared to the competition, the ZenBook is an easy pick for best budget laptop. And finally, our pick for the best overall laptop you can buy in 2018, the Dell XPS 13. In 2018, Dell gave us a brand new redesigned version of this laptop that we've loved for years, and it has a great look that blends a metallic exterior with a white woven fiberglass interior. It's the kind of cool new toy you'll be itching to show anyone willing to look. It's got the same infinity edge bezels, but they're even thinner this time around. They make other laptops look straight up outdated in comparison. The cool thing is that the bezels are as functional as they are beautiful as it reduces the overall footprint of the laptop. There's just one oddity you should know about with the Dell XPS 13, the webcam. The bezels are so thin that there's no room for it, so it's positioned below the display rather than above. This isn't the laptop for people who use their webcam all the time for video conferencing. But for everyone else, you probably won't notice too much. The two models we tested, the i5 and i7 versions, start at $1,000 and $1,400 respectively. Both feature 8th gen processors alongside a selection of solid state drives and up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you want to opt for something cheaper, you can still purchase the 7th gen Core i3 model from 2017, which starts at just $800. The new model is thinner and sleeker than its predecessor, but the old one is still a good value. Overall, this is the laptop we end up recommending to more people than any other. So that's really just scratching the surface of what's out there, but we think those are the best laptops of 2018 so far. If you want to know more about any of those laptops, you can check out our in-depth reviews over at digitaltrends.com.